What is up guys, Errol Mora here back again with another video and today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Select Avengers Endgame Nano Gauntlet Hulk. So let's get into it. Taking a look around the packaging on the top, you get nothing. Same thing on the bottom on the side, you get Avengers Endgame right there. On the back you get a nice picture of Hulk with the Nano Gauntlet with a brief description. So pause and pause if you want to look and read at those. And on the side you got nothing. And without further ado, let's get into it. Doing some size comparisons, here is Hulk next to a couple Marvel Select figures like Iron Spider, Thanos, Iron Man Mark 85, and Civil War Cap, as well as a couple of uh, Marvel Legend figures like Spider-Man or Iron Spider, Thanos, Hulk, and Thor, as well as more Avengers and even more Avengers. Now comparing Hulk next to Hulk, you can see the scale is obviously different. The uh, the Nano Gauntlet Hulk is more slimmed down and has a more movie accurate sculpt as opposed to this kind of bulkier, probably uh, concept art Hulk on the right. So just doing a 360 look around around these guys, you can see how much uh, different the sculpt is and the uh, pattern designs are. But there are some similarities here and there, just little touches. But uh, the one that we get right here on the left, which is the Nano Gauntlet one, is obviously more movie accurate and I think has better sculpt and better proportions. Taking a closer look at both of these figures, you can see these sculpts are way different. Um, the, the Nano Gauntlet one looks more like Mark Ruffalo as opposed to the uh, Disney Store exclusive, which uh, looks more like Hulk. So yeah, just looking at the suits here, you can see it's kind of similar. And some of the grays, the lighter grays area, pretty much the exact same purples here. But you can see the sculpt and kind of the, the way the joints are sculpted in to form like the articulation joints is way different, obviously. And you can see it's more slimmed down. And one thing to point out, comparing it with the Build-A-Figure Hulk here, the Legends, you can see it looks like the exact same, almost the exact same sculpt on the feet. Just a, just a minor detail right there. And if you want to do some head swappings, you can't because uh, the peg on the uh, the Nano Gauntlet one is too big. You can see right there. I tried. And if you want to see the Legends one, that's what it looks like. Obviously different color greens. Now for Hulk's accessories here, you get one pair of uh, relaxed hands here. You can see nicely sculpted and nicely paint detailed on the fingernails right there. Uh, this is what it looks like on the figure. You could do some relaxed poses or even holding the gauntlet pose. This is from the Marvel Legends Hulk or Build-A-Figure Hulk. Next up, you get a pair of gesture hands. I don't know. It looks like it's meant to hold something or make them do some talking gestures, but same sculpt, same paint details on the fingernails, and this is what it looks like on the figure. And lastly, for Hulk's accessories, you get the Nano Gauntlet itself. Now, this is a nicely sculpted, nicely detailed uh, piece. I do have it rotated uh, a different way. I apologize for that. But you can see the reds are painted nicely. The silver and the yellows and the stones as well are painted nicely. Uh, you can see there are some paint splotches here and there. But other than that, the sculpt is pretty much dead on accurate. And I really like how they sculpted the uh, Mind Stone right there. Now comparing this one to the uh, Nano Gauntlet for the Build-A-Figure Hulk from the Marvel Legends line, you can see they're pretty much almost the exact same size, it's just that it's uh, obviously the select is a little bit bigger and you can see the uh, sculpt is more movie accurate to the select and this is what it looks like on the figure, which is cool. And you cannot attach this to the Thanos, I tried because the peg is too long, uh, unfortunate, but what could have been there you go uh, just just imagine now comparing this to the infinity gauntlet you could see 
looks pretty nice side by side. I wish you could attach both of the gauntlets on, but that is okay. It uh, looks cool nonetheless. Before we take a closer look at Hulk here, starting off with the articulation on the hands that you get. So with the right uh, gesture hand all the way around, up that far, down that much. You can see the paint is chipping off at the joints, which is usual. Now with the relaxer gripping hands all the way around, up that far, and down that much. Now for the Nano Gauntlet arm, you get a single jointed elbow like so. You can bend it. It bends a little less than 90 degrees, but you could push it a little farther, but uh, it might pop out of the uh, socket. And you could also break his arm like so. You get a rotation at the elbow right there, side to side. Now his hand here is on a swivel, so it does rotate all the way around. It could bend up that far on a hinge, which is nice, and downward that much. And I like how the uh, hinge itself is made out of a gray plastic. Now taking a closer look at Hulk here, starting off with the head sculpt. Really great likeness to Mark Ruffalo, way better than the Disney Store exclusive. But what they did carry over is that terrible, terrible kind of pastel light green. I really don't like it. They, they should have sat uh, saturated the green a little bit more in this figure. He just looks too pale and too dead and that eyeliner around his eye, the black eye line or the highlight or the uh, uh, panel lining quote unquote uh, detail, it just looks like he has eyeshadow and doesn't look nice. It looks kind of dead to me and it looks kind of cockeyed but uh, the sculpt itself is very nice. Um, the paint is just a little off and you can see that you got some bluish grays in the hair here and you can see they actually sculpted in uh, the uh, neck around the neckline so it looks like he has a shirt on top of his body which is a nice uh, minor detail right there and just looking uh, around the sculpt here you get to see different tones of gray and uh, very saturated purples which are very nice and you can see the sculpt here everything every line that you see is probably indented or uh, raised up so it has a nice um, look and feel to it so really really great sculpt the only downside with this guy is that dumbbell um, joint right there it's only connected on that one little thin um, plastic area in the crotch so it, it makes it for a very loose figure in the legs so it's hard to um, uh, pose this guy in dynamic poses without him falling over so that's kind of disappointing but with the trade-off with that uh, kind of loose joint you get more uh, articulation or more range in the legs just a little bit and looking at the rest of the uh, figure here, you can see uh, clean paint jobs all around. They try to paint the hinge joint right there, uh, but it is uh, kind of rubbing off as usual with diamond select figures. And he has peck holes at the bottom of his feet. For Hulk's articulation, the head is on a ball joint or a double ball joint or a dumbbell joint. So it does rotate all the way around, bends up that far, which is great, and downward a knot at all. What happened, Diamond Select? That's kind of disappointing. A little uh, tilty shifty head movement right there. Arms do rotate all the way around. They bend outward that far at 90 degrees, which is good. And inward, not at all. Single jointed elbow bends at 90 degrees. Rotation at the elbow. Now with the fist here, rotates all the way around, uh, hinges up that far and down that much, which is great. Now the uh, torso area is kind of weird because when you try to bend it forward, it does a little bit, but it springs back, which is disappointing and not good range right there. But when bending it back, you get quite a uh, good range right there. Side to side movement like that and 360 degree rotation at the torso. Now on the uh, waist here, it does rotate all the way around legs can kick forward that far which is great and he can sit down like so and back surprisingly just a little bit and he also uh, can rotate at the uh, kind of the hip area or the upper part upper upper part of the leg like so and he also has a upper thigh swivel like that and double jointed knees which are very stiff but there you go now his feet here they bend down that far which is great up that much which is also okay and he also has the ankle pivot and his legs move outward that far so he could do the full splits kind of disappointing because uh, when I tried to do the ankle pivot test um, just doing it right here you could see uh, it just wants to do the splits but when I try to get it into a good stance it just falls down which is quite disappointing
So yeah, that is it guys. If you guys like that video, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Now overall, I really do like this figure. This is a good figure uh, for the money. I'm not sure for the increased $30 that Diamond Selects has been doing on these figures, but oh well, hopefully in the future they'll lower it down to that original $24.99. Uh, but overall, I do like this sculpt. This is a really, really beautiful sculpt for uh, this Hulk figure. Very nice attention to detail. Uh, the uh, likeness to Mark Ruffalo is amazing. It's just that the um, the eyeliner on the head sculpt or the head paint is just weird. And from afar, it looks like he has a flat, non-textured uh, 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 head sculpt. But when you look really, really close in direct lighting, you can see some texture details, but they're not as prominent as like on a Marvel Legends figure. But nonetheless, the sculpt is amazing on the head and on the body. It's just uh, uh, there are some uh, points to the body where uh, it's very loose, like the legs, as I mentioned. But other than that... Um, he is a great figure. If you can find him, go pick him up now at your local comic book shop. He was released a couple of weeks ago, so hopefully you guys can still find him. And yeah, that is it, guys. Hope you guys like it. Air off, Morris. This is signing out. Peace. Shoo.